In this video, I'm going to deal with how you would cope with answering a question that essentially asks you to write a reaction between two acids. So it seems quite unusual when they're both proton donors that they can react with each other. Well, the truth is they actually can. Now, to be able to answer the question, we need to know the Ka values for these two acids. So that's the acid dissociation constant. And these would obviously be supplied in an exam question. So there's the Ka values written underneath the acids. So phosphoric acid has a Ka value of 7.1 times 10 to the minus 3. These are obviously in moles per decimeter cubed. Nitrous acids is 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4. So there's actually enough information on the board now to answer the question. So if you think you know how to do it, then obviously pause the video and have a go. If not, keep watching because I'm going to go through the answer. You can see on the bottom of the board there in red I've added the generic equilibrium for a monobasic acid, HA, and the Ka expression for this monobasic acid is written below that. So Ka is essentially a measure of the extent of dissociation of the acid. The larger the value of Ka, the more products we've got to react into the equilibrium. So essentially, in sort of acid terms, the larger the value of Ka, the stronger the acid, because it's dissociating more, and essentially it's got more free H plus ions. So out of the two Ka values on the board, which is the largest? It's this one here. So this phosphoric acid is a stronger acid than nitrous acid. So what that means is the phosphoric acid can donate a proton to the nitrous acid. The nitrous acid has to act as a base and receive it. So if the phosphoric acid is going to donate a proton it will become H2PO4 with a 1 minus charge and the nitrous acid has to accept that proton and so it becomes H2NO2 with a 1 plus charge.